Thank you for joining me on Delicious by Debbie. And today I'm gonna to make us some meatballs in gravy. Some people call them Swedish meatballs. Um, I just call them meatballs and gravy. And I'm gonna show you my recipe. Everybody has their own way of doing them. We'll probably eat them on noodles or rice or mashed potatoes, I'm not sure which yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and make them. And to start with, I wanted to show you, I'm sure you're all familiar with them, crock pot slow cooker liners. These are the small because I'm using my small, the smallest crock pot I have because it's just the two of us and I don't want a lot left over. We're gonna be out of town for a while, but I want us to have a nice dinner this evening. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line this. But the beautiful thing about this is when you're all done, this always sticks as it cooks, the gravy does. When you're all done, you can just throw this bag away after you've taken the stuff out of it. So that's why I use those. I bought a large bag of meatballs from Sam's Club. These are Italian style, so they're seasoned really well. And I'm just gonna pour a few of these in the bottom of this. Just enough for the two of us. There's probably 20 to 30 little meatballs in there. This is the size of them. So I'm gonna put those in there and then I'm gonna make my sauce that I'm going to put over it. So far, I have one and three quarters cups of beef broth and I made my own with a beef base. And I'm finding that you could, I used to only be able to buy that and the chicken one in Amish country, but now you can buy it just about anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna put a teaspoon of garlic in it. Not sure that I need that with these being Italian flavored, but I'm gonna put just a teaspoon of it. I'm not putting any salt in it because the beef broth itself is salty. I'm just gonna put a little bit of pepper, just about like a fourth of a cup, or excuse me, a fourth of a teaspoon, not a cup. And then I have a can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm gonna put that in here. Okay, we'll get that mixed up too with the whisk here. And uh, it doesn't really matter if there's even some, a little, little bits of lumps of the soup that didn't mix in because by the time it cooks in here for several hours, it's all gonna be mixed up. I'm also gonna add a little packet. This is 0.87 ounce of gravy mix, brown gravy mix. I'm gonna stir that into it. Okay, and that's all I'm gonna do for now. When they're finished and I'm getting ready to serve them tonight, I will um, put just a little bit of half and half or heavy whipping cream up, just heavy whipping cream in just to cream them up a little bit. So that's all I'm pouring onto these meatballs. That was one and, a, one and three fourths cups of beef broth, a teaspoon of garlic, a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, a can of cream and mushroom, and a package of brown gravy mix. So that's my mixture for my meatballs. Now, like I say, I'll put a little half and half or heavy whipping cream up in them before I serve them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this over these meatballs. And I will let these cook on high for probably four to five hours. And then I will show you when they're all done. Get this plugged in here, get them going. And I'm gonna turn it on high for now to get them going and cooking. These meatballs are fully cooked, so they really don't need to cook much. Okay, the meatballs are done. And they have a nice, nice gravy with them. I am going to put just a fourth of a cup of half and half in here. Makes them just a little, the gravy and everything just a little bit creamier and I've got it on high. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit until we're ready to eat them. We're gonna have them on mashed potatoes and we're having some corn from the freezer that we froze this summer. Thank you for watching. So here's my plate with a couple meatballs, a little bit of mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm, that gravy's good. Meatballs are hot, but very, very good. I hope you'll try this sometime.